This week on the corner, let's troubleshoot our XY2 Pro. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, it's me Jeff. Welcome back to my corner. This week on the corner, you, you all remember I did a bunch of videos on the Tronxy XY2 Pro, which is right here. We've done a bunch of random stuff to it. Well, I found a used Tronxy on Craigslist. But it had problems. So I saw an ad on Craigslist for a Tronxy XY2 Pro used for $100 Canadian, which is about $80 US. Um, in the ad, it said that it was a bad firmware flash and that was all the information they gave me. I emailed the gentleman back and forth a few times. The story was he tried to install Marlin on it, thought he had a bad flash because every time he turned it on, the board would cut out. So I thought this would actually be a really cool video to do for troubleshooting problems that you would have with your trunk seat. So we're going to look at a few things here. Um, after we sort out the, uh, the firmware issue or swapping out the board or whatever it happens to be, um, it's got a loose bed. It's got the gantry over here is wobbly. Um, looking at the fan, it's kind of chewed up. Um, I don't know how much filament's been through the nozzle, so we'll do that. The belts are kind of loose. So we'll give it a bit of a tune-up, all right? And we'll see what we get at the end, okay? All right, stay tuned. So what I've done is I've gotten the, um, the board out and alone. Um, the problem was, as you can even see here with the, um, the hotbed, it's, um, that literally fell apart as soon as I took it off. So I'm sure at some point in time there was a short on this board and it just caused the uh, CPU to um, short out and now it just constantly overheats. So what I've done is I've taken my good board out of my working trunk C and put it into the non-working trunk C and it fired up no problem. So uh, I have the bad board here hooked up to my original trunk C and I'm just trying it out and as you can see it powers off instantly. If you notice um, the processor is really hot, it will just flicker, so uh, yeah, the board's toast on this. So this is the used Tronxy. I've uh, replaced the board, so now she's up and running. I have stock firmware on here. So that's all I did was a simple board swap, and we're good to go. Now let's deal with the nitty gritty of stuff. So we need to tighten this bed, so I'm going to do that right now. So before we start tightening everything up, let's take a second and talk about nuts. This is a regular nut. This is an eccentric nut or a concentric nut, depending on who you ask. Let's just call it an eccentric nut because it's a little bit off. So as you can see, the center is off center. So what this allows you to do is it basically allows you to adjust the tension of your V wheels. So on a V wheel printer like this, where you have the wheel that goes, moves up and down on in the rail, so by adjusting this nut, by spinning it, it allows you to adjust the tension of the wheels into the V groove. Tight enough so you can't spin them with your finger, but not too tight so they will crush. So we're going to do the eccentric nuts on the bed, and then along the, um, the Z axis that goes up and down. They guide the rails, and we'll also check the ones that are holding the extruder mount so here on the bed underneath, you have your two eccentric nuts on this side, okay? Now what you're going to do is, pardon my arm, as I'm trying to do this here, is you're going to spin these. See how that's loosened? Now we're going to tighten these up. Okay. Our bed is now tight. That's one problem. So as soon as I fixed the bed, I was able to print and I printed a Benchy, just a generic G-code Benchy that I found on the card. See the layers are missing, it's stringing, it's not a very good Benchy. So we'll use this as a benchmark, continue fixing, and then we'll print one at the end. So another thing that's going on with the Tronxy is my gantry is very loose on this. So I have a couple of solutions here. I checked the bolts, they're pretty tight on the bottom but the gantry still has a bit of wobble. So, uh, I took one bolt out, 
And what I'm going to do is, there's two things I can do here. I'm going to add a couple of washers to kind of sink it up a little bit, because hopefully that will do the trick. It will just pull it in a bit tighter, and I'll tighten up the gantry. Or two, I already printed out these brackets here. So I can just mount those. Um, I just mount in there with some T nuts, which are um, T nuts are these suckers here. Should have had a few that came in your kit with your Troxy. Usually they give you a couple spares. You use these to mount your screen and stuff. But yeah, so you can do this. I'm going to try it with the washers first to see if that works. So the gantry is solid now. It's only wibbling with the frame, but yeah, she's solid. So that took care of that problem. Now let's look at this belt. So the belt here, that's all floopy floopy. Um, so there are adjustment screws right here. I'm going to need a, just a screwdriver. And I'm going to put in here. So all four of these, you'll need to loosen up a little bit in order to adjust this. I don't think there's an adjustment at the back, no. So see how this will now slide, or should slide anyways? Yeah. So we're going to um, take this back until we get proper tension here. And then we're just going to tighten these up. One on one side. Let's get one on the other side here. Tighten up the second one. Tighten up the second one here. That's good. So now this is good. This is good. Gantry's good. That's a wobble actually on my table. That's not this, All right? Um, this one's not too bad. So we'll leave that one there. Um, let's move on to um, the hot end and the fan. I'm gonna try and focus in on here, but this fan shroud is completely chewed up. I'll show you that in a minute, but we're gonna change that out. So there's four screws that we're going to remove and I actually have this old, I can't find the original fan duct that I have, but I have this um, multiverse fan duct from my old proxy that I'll put on here. So we'll see how that goes. So new fan shroud on. And this is the old fan shroud. Like, look at that. That's just sad. I don't know what happened there, but that doesn't look very good at all. That looks a bit better. All right, so next step is we are going to, since I don't know how much mileage is on the nozzle after I printed that Benchy, we're going to uh, replace the nozzle and then we're gonna uh, lube the, um, the Z screw, okay? So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Oh, shiny new nozzle. Oh, let's see here. Old nozzle, like I, as I say, I don't know. It doesn't look bad, um, but again, I don't know how much filament it's gone through. So that's done. So just like with the beds, you want to take your concentric nuts on your uh, axes and just make sure that your wheels are in the V groove, that they're snug enough that you can't spin them with your finger but no more than that any more than that uh, you'll end up crushing them and possibly damaging them so just go over all your wheels and just do that so we're gonna lubricate our z-rod here or z-rod and basically i am just using a high performance sanitary lubricant grab just a little dollop on the edge of my finger and just kind of put it onto the lead screw. 
a little bit above and a little bit below. And then I'm simply just going to run the, the lead screw up and down a couple of times to get that lubricated. And also I'm going to see if I need to adjust if there was any wobble in that uh, lead screw too. So I will attempt that right now as well. Uh, okay. You want to make sure there's no binding in the lead screw. You can also keep an eye on how your wheels are doing at the same time. Make sure you don't see any nicks or any oddities on them whatsoever. And that's it. And then we can just home. Oh. It should go all the way down to the bottom. I'm also going to um, replace the Bowden tube here only because I don't know what it's been through or if it's burnt or how long it's been printing or whatever. So I'm going to take care of that right now as well. I just need some clippers, cutters, trimmers. There we go. So we're just going to remove these zip ties here. And now in theory, here, let's move this up a little bit. Um, you should be able to just pull, push down and pull up. It never really works that way. It always seems to be a little bit more effort than what's described in it. But you did get a wrench with your Tronxy. Um, so you should be able to use this to uncouple the coupler here. Now a thing to note here is that you're going to want to make sure that your hot end is warmed up uh, about 2.30 I'd like to have mine at so I can pull the, um, the PTF E-tube out. The replacement tube you're going to look for is going to have, I believe the stock one is a, a 0.2 millimeter dia inside diameter, 4 millimeter outside diameter so you're going to want to replace it with that. Or you can also choose to go with a Capricorn tube as well. Those have been quite successful and a lot of people do like them. There we go. So the end of the tube is actually not burnt or bad at all. It's got a little discoloration, but it looks pretty good. Uh, you can remove this side as well. And we will simply replace it. Um, and you should be able to Oh, see, this has been quite snugly fit in there. All right, so this one should be able to come right off. And then this one appears to be... There we go. Let's uh, pull him off too here if we can get one quick rip. Nope. All right, we'll just go this way then. So what you want to do, though, is you want to grab your Capricorn tube and then measure when you measure your fresh piece. So you're the same length. Mm -hmm. And then just, you're gonna wanna make sure you cut it flat. I recommend using a cutter specifically designed for the purpose. You can do it with an X-Acto knife if you leave it on the table flat, but you're gonna get a better result with one of these trimmers. So this is the old one. See how it's kind of marred up and stuff? And here's the old end. When I replace the PTFE tubing, I like to actually ins um, screw the coupler on till it's snug, turn back about a quarter of a turn, then insert the, um, the tubing all the way down so it sits flush and then finish tightening so it gives it that little extra pressure to seat it properly and then yeah just replace the coupler on the extruder 
Uh, you're going to want to tighten that up a little bit with the wrench, and then you can just insert your PTFE tube there, and we are all good to go now. After that, just move the extruder back and forth along the um, the axis to, just to make sure that your uh, Bowden tube reaches all the way and there's no problems or anything. And that's it. So we have all the upgrades done. We got the fan, we got the new nozzle, we're on stock firmware. We've adjusted the tension on all our rollers. We've tightened our belt. We've uh, greased our Z rod and aligned it. And now we're gonna print and we're gonna compare it to the Benchy I printed before that unfortunately I forgot to film. And here you go, before and after all of that tweaking. I'm sure you can tell which one's the before and which one's the after. Again, printed with the exact same G-code, um, the G-code that I found on a card. But as you can see, um, there's a huge difference. I just need to do software tweaking. Ta-da, there she is. I managed to um, get this guy actually printing really decently. We've got our before and after benches to kind of show what all those tweaks did. I think we did a really good job on this. Um, too bad about the board, but by me replacing the board and basically showing you guys a quick one-on-one -on, -one on how to tune up a printer, um, we've gotten to the point where Right now, I think it's just profile tuning for the printer. Um, and I do have a Tronxy profile, it's just this was a G-code, and I just decided to use the same G-code to kind of show you the uh, before and after of stuff. So I'll take a few photos of this. I'll show you that, and I hope you enjoyed this video. You picked up a couple tips from it. Um, my old Tronxy, well, it's sitting right behind me here. I got a bunch of parts I'm gonna do another video on. I stay tuned for that one. But yeah, um, Thank you so much for watching this video. If you're cruising through the channel, please hit subscribe. Uh, give me a thumbs up. The likes really help me. And thanks so much for supporting this channel. Until next time, peace out.